All right, what's up guys? It's me, Sean, here with some AWS tutorial here today. And today we're going to be looking at how to set up a lifecycle policy in S3 bucket so the objects can be removed automatically after a certain amount of days. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I've prepared some test data already inside of my Sean Kuhn bucket. So if I go into test one folder here, uh, as you can see, I have created a file. And if I go into test two, I've created the same exact file. So if I actually go back into test one and click on this item here, and on the right, as you can see, it says expiration date NA, expiration rule NA, right? So this means my file will actually stay on S3 forever unless I actually go and manually delete them. But today we're going to use this thing called lifecycle policy, which let objects to be deleted after a certain amount of days automatically. So first we need to go into management section of the S3 bucket. So go ahead and click that. And if you click, there is a lifecycle on the first button here. And on right below, we're going to click add lifecycle rule. So first let's enter a rule name. Make sure you give it a intent revealing name so you can actually see what this rule does. So let's create a rule name called three days expiration test one folder. So that's my rule name. And we're going to put prefix for objects that I want to be deleted. So as you can see, I'm trying to delete every object under test one folder. So let's type in test one as my prefix and hit enter or click. And after you do that, as you can see the prefix tag gets applied and it will filter items based on this prefix here. And as you can see, you can add multiple or one or more tags or prefix filters. Now let's hit next. And after you hit, hit next, you'll get to this stage called transition. So this is where you can actually set a transition period so that your objects can be transitioned into different storage class. Most typical use case would be moving objects from standard storage into archiving storage, which is called Glacier. In this tutorial, I won't be going over what those are, but just remember that those are the use cases for this transition section. So go ahead and hit next. And if you hit next, you will get to third step, which is expiration. So we're going to set up a expiration on current version of objects. And if you guys remember from previous videos, I've never used a versioning on my F S3 bucket. But if you used versioning, you would actually want to click on previous versions as well and delete them. But because I didn't enable versioning, I'll just remove this previous versions and change this date. So as you can see, it says after certain days from object creation. So I'm going to actually say three days from object creation. And if you look on the bottom, we have cleanup incomplete multi-part uploads. And this is where you can actually remove objects that are not created yet, but still being uploaded onto S3 bucket. You guys might say, oh, why do we have to do this separate from this top one here? It's because if your object is being uploaded, that object is not considered as created object. So you actually have to manually delete those separately by giving them separate lifecycle rule. So I'm going to say three days as well. So if my file doesn't get uploaded into my S3 bucket, even after three days, I'll just delete them. So go ahead and hit next and you just review this here and hit save. And if you hit save, as you can see, we have this new lifecycle policy. So now let's go back to our bucket and check if it has been applied. Go back to overview. Let's click on my bucket here and let's go back into test one folder and click on this file. And as you can see, we have expiration rule that says three days expiration test one. And the, here's the expiration date that it's going to expire on this date. Now let's go back to other file and see if they are applied as well. So now I'm inside of test two and different file. And as you can see, expiration rule hasn't been applied to this one. So this file will stay in my bucket. So that's how you create expiration date and set up a lifecycle policy in S3 bucket. If you guys have any other questions, please leave questions on the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.